Transgender people are not violent attackers and are not sexual predators. Making comments or so-called jokes, perpetuating the idea that transgender people are, is really violent and very dangerous because my community is already being murdered at alarming rates simply for being trans because people are scared of us, don't understand us, or think that we're sinners or whatever. And there's a very specific reason as to why so many people have this very negative view of transgender individuals. It's because of the negative representation in the media throughout history. People have tried to equate us to being serial killers, such as Kill Bill and Silence of the Lambs. Trans men are being equated to serial killers in shows like CSI. In Nip Tuck, trans women were perceived as baby stealers and as predators who sleep with their own children. Very recent headlines try to claim that trans people are forcing people into having sex with them. Bathroom bills try to equate transgender people as predators in bathrooms. When the truth is, transgender people are four times more likely to be victims of said violent crimes, according to the School of Law Williams Institute at UCLA. Transgender people are more often than not the victims, not the attackers. According to the Department of Justice, 99% of sexual predators and attackers are cisgender men. Now, all of that being said, can transgender people be violent? Yes. I have been the victim myself to a very abusive transgender man. But perpetuating this horrible stereotype that people have created, this very targeted plot against transgender identity to try to label us as evil or wicked or attackers or predators or rapists or whatever, is false and harmful. And it leads to the continued hate and transphobia and attack of our rights and physical harm attacks against my community. Almost 60 transgender people were murdered last year in the United States alone solely for being trans. According to the National Domestic Violence Hotline, up to 36% of the general population are victims and survivors of domestic violence. However, only around 20% of LGBTQPIA plus relationships have domestic violence happen. According to the Department of Justice, over 50% of transgender individuals have been physically assaulted after coming out as trans to their partners. According to the U.S. Transgender Survey, 37% of trans women and 51% of transgender men have been sexually assaulted in their lifetimes. Moral of the story is we need to stop attacking transgender people physically, emotionally, and especially attacking our rights. Transgender people deserve respect and deserve equal protections under the law. Stop making jokes at our expense. Stop depicting us as these violent predators that we are not.